Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an R15 morph in Roblox Studio 2019. Hey guys, so in the beginning of the video, as I said, we're going to be showing you how to make this R15 morph. And it's actually pretty easy. So what you want to do is get the link in the description. And once you do that, you should get this thing called Custom Morph. Now, pretty much, um, I'm going to show you how it basically works once you finish it. So let's just use what it has so far. Anyway guys, so we are back in Roblox in playtest mode. And pretty much, um, once we get in, we're going to see all this. And this is just the default um, morph that comes in the template. But if we click this button, it should put us in there, and now we're that character. And as you can see, it's R15, and if you were to slashy dance, it works with that. And yeah, it's pretty nice. So pretty much, when we're finished, we should be able to make one of these, and it can be whatever you want, as long as it sort of fits this kind of human-looking thing. So what you want to do first is open up the custom morph and you're gonna find a costume thing open that up and you're gonna see stuff like head left foot left hand and you're gonna see also some pretty weird looking stuff like lower torso upper torso right upper leg and all these upper and lower stuff and it looks really complicated but once you actually get the hang of it it's really not it's pretty simple but what I'd say the best place to start is probably the body so what we're going to do is just start on the body and you want to make sure so I'll make it just pretty much a square size and we're gonna make it the size of this body because we're kind of using this just as a reference to see how big this one is and then I'm going to get the basic shape of that bring it up and then Okay, so that's the upper torso. That's gonna be the upper torso. And let's make it like red or something. We'll make it like a red person shirt. And pretty much try fitting all the stuff into this little template. And then it'll like help you get it in the right spots and all that. And then for the lower torso, what I can do, since this is just a simple block body, I'm just gonna duplicate this, scale it down a little and bring this down that's pretty much all I need for the twist so yeah so now we got the body which I'm gonna rename body and we also have the torso so okay so once you have one of the things completed I would say rename it um to whatever it is so oh what I should have called this is upper torso and the other one lower torso my bad okay so once you do that over here we need to find the correct place for them so here's lower torso and we can go ahead and put our lower to torso <laughs> into here and then this thing that says primary we can delete that now and primary anything this is primary is just one of the clear parts but we don't need those since we're now replacing it with our own so let's see upper, upper torso is there we can put it there and delete primary and that's pretty much how that's done and now I'm gonna play test it and you will see that that is put into the morph so if we are going to play this now you can see we're walking around and we now have this body that we have just created and it does look a little weird because I'm just making a really simple one. But there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. And it's really helpful for making games and stuff. But let's see. So next, I think I'm going to do the head. So I guess if you want a head just like that one, you can just put in like a square block. And then you can insert a mesh into it. Let me find it. A special mesh. And then you got that. And let's make him, let's make him Lego man colors. So I'll just make him like a little Lego man. A little Lego head or whatever. So now what we can do, we can move this onto the head and replace it. Okay. 
So there, now we have the head on. I know it's not on perfectly, but it's it's fine just for testing it. So let's call this head. And since there is no upper or lower head, because that doesn't really exist, we can just put it into the head, remove the primary, and there we go. Now we have the head. And you pretty much just have to repeat this for every body part until you have what you want. And you can put more than one thing into, like, the head or hand stuff. Like, you can put multiple parts in there. And as long as it's in this head group, it will stay with the head. So, it's, yeah, that should be good. So, let me test this real quick with the head to make sure that it works. So, you get in there. And there we go. We got the head. And it looks a little weird because I put it on very weird. I did it really fast and it looks all crappy, but it is fine for now just for testing. And when you are making this, you don't have to do it as fast as I am, so it's fine. Anyways, I'm going to just speed up me making the rest of the body. Hey guys, I am back, and we have this so far, and this is just a really bad example by the way, so it's not going to look the best, but you can make some pretty cool stuff with this, and you can do other things with it, like you can add a face to it, so what we can do is we can find a face to put on it, um, so let's say we wanted to put on this sad face, huh, let me rotate the head because some reason it's on the wrong side there we go so you can do that you can add stuff on the shirt and you don't have to use just blocks like I said you can use these head shapes and various other things you can find Let's say we wanted to put something like this on a shirt we could and then yeah so now we are going to test it it is the moment of truth so let us see oh okay something I probably should have mentioned you might want to anchor everything so that's something I really should have said in the beginning what I'm gonna do is just put that in in editing but yeah uh, I need to anchor all this and what you can do to anchor them is select them all let me get them all and then what you want to do is go right here and press anchor 
And now, <laughs> if we play this, hopefully he won't fall apart. Um, so if we play this, there we go. And now we have our thing, and it looks really stupid right now, because I just put them all on. But really, you need to take your time and just figure out if the parts are in the right place and stuff. But you can end up making some pretty cool stuff with it. Like, I've seen some pretty good morphs made with that. So what I did was I found a few examples of what you can end up doing with this. So over here we have this Sonic one. And yeah, this one's really good. You can turn into Sonic. Woo! And then and we also have this Baldi's Basics one, which is really bad. This is why you really need to make sure that all the parts on it are in the right places, because if you don't, it's going to end up like this. So this is just a reminder to do that. And then you can, you don't have to just make like people and stuff. You can probably also do this. So like this is a creative thing someone did. They made the head, the this big block, the head, and then they made the legs, these things, so it would look like they're moving when you're running and stuff. And the head moves too, kind of, since it's R15. And yeah, that ends up looking really nice. I really like what they did with this one. And then there's this Dr. Eggman one. This will be the last one. So again, like the Baldi's Basics one, the parts are a little weird on it. But that's just something you're going to have to... Um, practice over and over again with and eventually you'll be able to do it but I think the Sonic one is a really good example of how to do it right and so is the gas one if you're like wanting to do other stuff with it that one's really cool so that's pretty much um, how you do all that I hope you found this tutorial helpful and until next time bye